While a ranger was at work, a tigress walked up to him and left her cub in his care. The shocked man was scared stiff at first, but when he recovered, he did something incredible. Marcus could hardly contain his excitement as he stepped into the vast expanse of the Rathambore National Park in India. It was his first day and the air was thick with anticipation. The lush greenery and the mysterious rustling of leaves promised a world of adventure that he was more than ready to embrace. When he had heard that the park had been facing a surge in poaching activities and they were employing more rangers, he knew that it was his opportunity to explore the world. Eager to dive into his new adventure, Marcus embarked on his first patrol in the national park. A veteran ranger from the previous day had shared valuable insights about the park's roots, but Marcus, fueled by excitement, couldn't resist the urge to explore the terrain for himself. As the sun dipped low in the sky, he stepped onto the winding trails that led deeper into the heart of the park. With each passing moment, Marcus felt a connection with the land he now patrolled. But suddenly, he saw something that stopped him in his tracks. His experienced eyes had spotted movement amidst the dense foliage. Marcus approached with caution, his senses heightened. And there, amidst the shadows, he saw a tigress, her coat a blend of golden hues that seamlessly melded with the dappled sunlight filtering through the leaves. The ranger was taken aback by fear and also by the might of her presence. The tigress seemed aware of the human and her amber eyes watched him with a mix of curiosity and caution. As he observed from a safe distance, he felt an unexplained connection with this wild creature. However, the mood shifted abruptly. The majestic tiger exhibited signs of distress. Something was amiss. The ranger stealthily circled to investigate further. What he discovered was both heartbreaking and enraging. In a clearing, hidden from casual sight, the cruel hand of poaching had left its mark. A sinister snare, designed to entrap and maim, held the tigress captive. She roared in frustration and pushed her powerful muscles against the unforgiving grip of the trap, but to no avail. As the ranger assessed the situation, his eyes widened with a mix of anger and compassion. He could see the raw vulnerability in the eyes of the trapped tigress. And then, a moment of unexpected tenderness unfolded. From the thick underbrush, a small furry bundle emerged, her cub. Instinctively sensing danger, the cub approached its mother, seeking refuge. But what happened next shocked the ranger. The tigress, with an almost desperate urgency, gently nudged her cub toward Marcus. It was as if she understood that her offspring needed protection. The ranger was frozen in doubt. If he took the cub from the mother, he would interfere severely with the laws of nature. His job was to protect and patrol, not to take initiatives like this. But if he turned around and left both mother and cub to their own devices, the chances they would both perish were extremely high. However, the prospect of kneeling next to a tigress and freeing her from a trap made Marcus's blood freeze in his veins. What if the predator attacked him next? What if she mistook him for one of the poachers who had caused her so much pain? He should probably call the park authorities and leave the rescue operation to them. However, the look in the tigress's eyes was too pleading to be ignored. So, an unspoken decision was made. He had to act swiftly to save not just one life, but two. Carefully cradling the cub in his arms, Marcus could feel the vulnerability of youth. Its eyes were wide with a mixture of fear and curiosity. Meanwhile, the tigress looked at them with a mix of gratitude and sorrow. She seemed to think that Marcus would just leave her there and run away with her cub, but she was wrong. He was going to save her too. The ranger set to work, skillfully dismantling the poacher's trap. It was a tense operation, every second ticking by as he worked against time. The tigress, perhaps sensing his intent, remained surprisingly calm. It was as if she understood that this two-legged being meant no harm. Finally, with a calculated maneuver, the trap released its hold on the tigress. Now that she was free from the poacher's trap, Marcus quickly realized the extent of her injuries. She stood before him, bearing the weight of wounds inflicted by the cruel hands of poachers. Recognizing the urgency of the situation, Marcus swiftly called for backup. The park's medical team responded promptly and quickly met him on site. 
Gently, they sedated the tigress and carefully transported her to the veterinary clinic within the heart of Ranthambor National Park. Under the watchful eyes of the medical team, the tigress lay on the examination table, her labored breaths echoing the gravity of her condition. Marcus held her cub close to his chest, making sure she could see that it was safe and sound in the hands of good humans. The wounds inflicted by the unforgiving snare were not merely physical, but also infected by the rusty metal. The medical team worked diligently, cleaning the wounds and administering antibiotics to combat the spreading infection. It was a race against time. Days turned into weeks as the medical team kept a close vigil over their patient. Marcus, having played a pivotal role in her rescue, felt a deep sense of responsibility towards her. Each day, he visited the veterinary clinic, standing by the tigress's side as if willing her to overcome the odds stacked against her. As the medical team tirelessly tended to the tigress, Marcus found himself saddled with the unexpected responsibility of caring for her cub. The tiny creature, a bundle of fur and curiosity, became the ranger's constant companion. He named it Terra, a symbol of hope and resilience, reflecting the spirit of its injured mother. When Marcus had made the decision to come to India, he had expected adventure, but the events of the past few days were beyond anything he could have ever imagined. He had been a ranger all his life, but in the wilds of Montana. For his 45th birthday, he had decided to do something different, and instead of sticking to his familiar trails, he packed his bags and headed to the Ranthambore National Park. He thought he was used to extraordinary events in nature, but what he was living now as the human caretaker of a wild tiger cub was almost too incredible to be true. Shouldering the newfound responsibility of the tiger cub, Marcus's routine transformed. His days were spent ensuring Tara's well-being, feeding her, keeping her safe, and providing the warmth and comfort she needed. The recent encounter with the injured tigress intensified Marcus's resolve to protect the inhabitants of the park from the shadows that sought to harm them. Determination burned in his eyes as he set out to thwart the poachers threatening Ranthambore National Park. As a seasoned ranger, he knew that tracking these elusive criminals required patience, skill, and a deep understanding of the park's intricate web of life. Days turned into nights as Marcus and his team meticulously combed through the dense foliage, scrutinizing signs left behind by the poachers, including footprints, broken branches, and discarded tools. With each expedition, the ranger honed his tracking skills, reading the forest language like a well-worn book. He recognized the barely discernible trails, the disturbed underbrush, and other telltale signs of human intrusion. This environment was completely different from the wilderness he'd grown accustomed to in Montana, and yet he felt weirdly at home among the lush vegetation of the Indian Park. As the days passed, he began to discern a pattern in the poacher's movements. With his experienced eye, he could now anticipate their next moves. Armed with this newfound knowledge, Marcus coordinated with the park authorities to devise a strategy. Together, they set out to intercept the poachers and put an end to their illicit activities. Night after night, the rangers patrolled the park, their senses heightened and their determination unwavering. Marcus, leading the charge, felt the weight of responsibility on his shoulders. The park's residents depended on their vigilance, and failure was not an option. One fateful night, while on patrol, Marcus spotted movement in the shadows. The poachers, unaware of the watchful eyes that tracked their every move, continued their illicit pursuit. With silent gestures, Marcus signaled his team into position. The atmosphere was charged with tension as the rangers closed in on the unsuspecting poachers. With swift precision, the team moved in to apprehend the criminals. Caught off guard, the poachers found themselves surrounded by Marcus and his team. The confrontation was swift but intense. Outnumbered and outmaneuvered, the criminals could do little to resist the resolute force that stood against them. With the poachers subdued, Marcus and his team escorted them back to the park authorities. Recognizing the gravity of the situation, they took swift action. The captured poachers were handed over to the legal system, where they would face the consequences of their crimes. 
It was a small victory, but a crucial one, in the ongoing battle to safeguard Ranthambore National Park. With the immediate threat neutralized, Marcus's bond with Terra deepened. The cub, now growing into a vibrant young tiger, became a living testament to the positive impact that dedicated conservation efforts could achieve. After some time, under the vigilant care of the medical team, the tigress began to show signs of gradual improvement. Marcus divided his time between caring for Tara and supporting the ongoing efforts to rehabilitate the tigress. Weeks turned into a month and hope burned within the walls of the veterinary clinic like a persistent flame. Against the odds, the tigress emerged victorious in her battle against infection. Her recovery was a triumph, not just for her, but for the dedicated team of caretakers who had stood by her side. Eventually, Marcus and the team recognized that it was time to transition her back to the wild. They decided to release her into a secluded area where they could monitor her progress and ensure a smooth transition to her natural habitat. However, they would release her first and wait a few days or weeks before reuniting her with her cub. They wanted her to get her bearings first so she wouldn't feel too overwhelmed by her responsibilities after such a traumatic experience. With a careful and calculated approach, the team selected a secluded and pristine area within Ranthambore National Park. It was a space where the tigress could rediscover her instincts, free from the immediate threats posed by poachers, and with ample prey to sustain her. As they prepared for the release, the air was charged with a mix of anticipation and hope. Having played a crucial role in the tigress's recovery, the ranger felt a deep sense of responsibility. The chosen release area welcomed the tigress with open arms. Marcus observed her from a respectful distance, allowing her the space to adapt to the surroundings. The transition from captivity to the wild was a delicate process, and the team remained vigilant, ready to intervene if needed. With a grace born of instinct, the tigress ventured into her newfound freedom and disappeared from their view, raising their hopes for a brighter future. In the initial days, the team continued to monitor the tigress's progress. They provided supplementary food to ease her transition, ensuring she had the sustenance needed to regain full strength. With watchful eyes, they observed her hunting instincts reawakening as she began to rely more on the abundant prey within her natural habitat. Weeks turned into months, and the tigress thrived in her newfound freedom. Marcus, proud of her remarkable recovery, knew that the time had come for the next chapter in her journey. After assessing her improved condition and the regained strength in her stride, the team felt confident that she could now survive independently in the vast expanse of Ranthambore National Park and take care of her baby. So the decision was made to reunite the tigress with her cub. Having grown under Marcus's care, Tara had become a vibrant young tiger with the spirit of the wild coursing through her veins. The prospect of reuniting mother and cub sparked a renewed sense of hope and joy within the team. There was a small chance that the tigress would reject her cub, but the team chose to be positive. After all, Tara had been close to her mother throughout her entire recovery period, and their interactions had always been affectionate. However, these months in the wilderness might have dampened the love and dedication the tigress felt for the baby. The designated area for the reunion was carefully chosen. It was a space where the tigress and Tara could navigate the process on their own terms. With a heart full of emotion, Marcus observed from a discreet vantage point as the two figures approached each other. The moment was nothing short of magical. At first, the tigress approached Tara with a mix of caution and recognition. The cub, sensing the familiarity in her mother's presence, bounded toward her with excitement and reverence. The scene unfolded with the raw beauty of nature as the tigress nuzzled her baby and licked her head with affection. As mother and cub embraced, Marcus felt a profound sense of fulfillment. The journey that had begun with the tigress's desperate plea for help had come full circle. As the tigress and her cub retreated into the depths of the forest, the ranger couldn't help but smile. The reunion was a touching reminder of the interconnectedness of life in the park. Days turned into weeks, and Marcus continued his patrols with renewed vigor. The threat of poaching had diminished, and a sense of tranquility settled over Ranthambore National Park. He thought that he had seen the last of the tigress and her cub. Little did he know what was in store for him. One day, he noticed something unusual during his patrol. To his surprise, the tigress and Tara seemed to deliberately cross his path multiple times over the course of the day. Intrigued, Marcus paused and waited for them to come out of the shadow. 
He stood still for a while, and when he heard the telltale rustling of leaves, he crouched down and observed the mother and cub as they approached with purpose. In a surprising display of gratitude, the tigress, with Tara at her side, circled around Marcus. It was an almost ritualistic dance, a gesture that defied all explanations. Sensing the significance of the moment, the surprised ranger remained still, allowing the tigress to weave a symbolic thread of connection between them. Then, in an act that left Marcus awestruck, the tigress approached a nearby tree. With deliberate intent, she pressed her massive paw against the trunk, leaving behind a distinct mark. Though he did not understand what the gesture meant, he was humbled by it and felt a deep sense of fulfillment. As the tigress and her cub retreated into the forest, the awestruck man couldn't shake the feeling that something extraordinary had transpired. The tree, now marked by the powerful imprints of its inhabitants, stood as a silent witness to the bond that had formed between man and beast. In the days that followed, Marcus shared the story of the tigress's unique gesture with his fellow rangers and the park authorities. The tale resonated through the community, becoming a symbol of the park's resilience and the collective efforts to safeguard its treasures. The park authorities, inspired by the story, decided to commemorate the alliance between Marcus and the tigress in a unique way. A small plaque bearing the imprints of both human and tiger was affixed to the mark tree. It reminded those who saw it about the gesture of the animals. News of the remarkable alliance reached far and wide, capturing the attention of wildlife enthusiasts, conservationists, and nature lovers. Marcus, though initially modest about the attention, realized the potential of the story to inspire others to join the cause of protecting endangered species and preserving natural habitats. Embracing his newfound role as an ambassador for conservation, Marcus engaged with communities beyond the park's borders. He shared the story of the tigress and Terra, emphasizing the role each person played in the interconnected web of life. The tale became a rallying cry, igniting a spark of awareness and responsibility in all who heard it. As the years passed and retirement age came, Marcus returned to his home country, but even then, he continued his work as a park ranger with a profound sense of purpose. He felt grateful for the chance to step out of his comfort zone and explore Ranthambor, and he knew he would treasure the experience forever. Leaving Montana behind hadn't made him forget the mountains and forests he loved. It just added more colors to his life. The decision to explore other parts of the world had opened his eyes to different ecosystems and the richness of other cultures. And so, beneath the expansive canopy of Ranthambor National Park, the Tigris and Terra continued their journey. Their imprints, forever marked on the tree that bore witness to their alliance with Marcus, stood as a testament to the enduring bond between man and nature. With a heart full of stories and lessons, Marcus knew his adventure wasn't over. The world, vast and full of wonders, waited for him. As he embraced the unknowns ahead, he was eager for the adventures that awaited him in the future. What a remarkable story! Who would have known that stepping out of one's comfort zone could be this exciting? Do you see yourself doing something similar to what Marcus did? Share your thoughts and reactions in the comments below. Stay tuned for more extraordinary stories.